Hey guys, it's Miss Lopez. Um, today we're going to look at acid base formation reactions. Um, and they love to ask these on the AP exam, especially either embedded in a written question or in a multiple choice where they just say, like, you know, when, it, when an acid reacts with, um, with a, when a metal oxide reacts with water, what does that form? Or when a non metal oxide reacts with water, what does that form? And they expect you to know that. So we're going to look at these different rules here and, and go by those as we go through these today. One thing I want to point out before we start, um, there is a mistake on this sheet, and I want to see if you guys can catch it as we go. So see if, if you can pay attention and catch it. So first things first, um, when we look at this, how do we know it's this type of reaction? We're looking for an alkali, alkali or an alkaline earth metal. Remember, those are the first two columns of the periodic table. And then with reacting with water or we're looking for a metal or a non-metal oxide in water. So those are the two things that we're looking for here. So in each of these reactions, we'll identify them as we go. Um, and then we're going to write what we're, you know, we're going to translate them. And then we'll look at these rules to see what it forms. Okay, so let's take a look at this uh, first one. So this first one was just made up. It did not come from AP exam, but these ones with the numbers on it, you can see what years they came from, just to kind of give you an idea of, you know, how many times it showed up on the exam. And, and this, to be honest, is not even from multiple choice questions. This is from written questions. So there's a lot more than that even. Okay. So the first one here, solid sodium is added to water. So let's, we look at it first and you notice it's an alkali metal, right, with water. So that's where we are. So I'm going to put NaS added to water, H2O liquid and reacts to form and we're going to predict the products so because that's an alkali metal with water an alkali metal with water makes a base and water so base means a hydroxide right so this becomes naoh and they both have a one charge so that's it and sodium hydroxide is aqueous plus um hydrogen gas then you should go through and check for balancing uh, and I'm looking at this, it's not balanced. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize you guys couldn't see that, sorry. So let's balance this. So we have two H's here, and we have three over here. So if we do it, two here, we have two here, and two here, right? It's balanced, two, four, balance. Okay, sorry, this A looks crazy, I know. Okay, okay. all right, so that's an example like that. I'm gonna skip this one because it's similar. All right, but let's look at um, something like this because we want to do one of the oxides one. So solid sodium oxide is added to water. So Na, remember cross charges, Na2O, it's a solid, it's added to water, H2O liquid, and let's see what it's going to form. So it's a metal oxide. So we're going to look at the first rule here, metal oxides in water, and that makes a base. Um, so we're going to write the formula. So our base here is going to be what? Base here is going to be NaOH, which and then the NaOH is aqueous. So we'll put that there because all acids and bases are aqueous. And then we just need to balance this. We need two here, and that should balance everything, right? Yep, looks good. Okay, let's just do one of the other types here. So let's look for a non-metal oxide in water. So the next one, so non-metal oxide, you know, sulfur is a non-metal, so sulfur trioxide, so SO3, and that's a gas, plus H2O liquid. And I know it says excess, but you don't need to like, you don't need to write that. We don't need, it just means it's enough to react and it's obviously left over. So if you look here, a non-metal oxide in water is going to produce an acid. So what acid is this going to produce? That's what you have to think about first. So this reacts to form sulfuric acid, H2SO4. And again, if I go up here, oops, that looks terrible, sorry. If I go up here, um, it says non-metal oxide, because that's what we have, non-metal oxide, with water, um, and we get sulfuric acid, because it, it makes an acid. And we have that reduced to the lowest terms, because we can't do anything with the sulfur there. So the other thing that I want to point out here, and this is where the typo is, because if you're reading here where it says, what do I do after that? Sometimes the acid will break down and form further 
um, products. You know, it's not, it just, it breaks apart. Well, here it says, if it's either carbonic or sulfuric, that's actually not the case. You need, we need to change this. Sulfuric acid does not break down like that. It's going to be sulfurous. Sulfurous acid, which is the H2SO3 shown here. Okay, so just make sure you change that there. So this guy just stays like this, the one that we have here. All right, so I would like you guys to try the rest of these and see how you do. And we'll be following up with you with some quizzes this week. Um, and just let me know if you have any questions.